I believe that I am live for another stream of Doom, another spontaneous stream of Doom. So here we are, just sitting to wait for confirmation from folks that I am up and ready. Today is going to be another Red Dead Redemption 2 stream, if you can't tell by my comment of Cowboy Shenanigans of Doom. I have played much longer on this game than the last time I streamed. Um, <laughs> I have, um, if I'm just looking at my activity, I think I've played about three hour, uh, 50 hours of Red Dead Redemption 2 in the last two weeks. Um, yeah, so time played last two weeks, 49.4 hours for a total of 61.9 hours. It is Yeet Ha time! Woo! Thanks for joining, Light. It's good to be able to hang out with you and get a little bit of a brain break time because I've been doing work, trying to crunch in for a work deadline. And let me tell you, after a while, I, I've just, my brain is turning to mush. It is a very easy task, so I love this task. But at the same time, there's only so far you can go until you just, nothing processes. You're reading words on the page, but you're not actually reading words. Oh, well, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to hang out with you too. Makes me really happy. Um, just so you know, the game is loading very slowly. It's taking its sweet little time. Yeah. I don't blame you for being mush after that, too. And I don't know about you, even if I do really well on an exam, after I take an exam, I'm just out. It's like I have done my mental capacity for the day. So you are so justified in being brain mush right now. And I'm glad that there can be multiple folks just hanging out together so that we can all um, just mush together, since it sounds like it's been a blarg day for a lot of folks in the Discord. So, loading, loading, loading. I know I always sing that one. I should be more creative, but, you know. Again, brain mush problems. Are you expecting me to be creative at this point in my life? <laughs> yeah. So, there's lots and lots and lots of different things that I can be doing at this stream because there's so many different things that I'm sort of screwing around with on Red Dead Redemption 2 at this point in time. So, we have our choice of activities. And um, if you have any preference to um, vote on what sort of stupidity, stupid, stupidity, stupidity, that's the new word, stupidity. Um, just let me know, because I am up for all the things at this point in time. If you want me to replay the mission that I did last night, which turned into an entire group of my buddies and me being idiots, I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to, um, I'm trying to work on a treasure map right now, and I'm really proud. I figured out the first clue entirely by myself, but now I have to do the second clue, and the second clue is proving to be a little bit more difficult for me. Maybe with the collaboration, <laughs> we can figure it out. Although, being as all our brains are mush, maybe a treasure map is not where the brains are going to succeed. <laughs> um, yeah, so, okay, I'm just catching up on what you said about um, if you pass or fail. Yep, yeah, I, I don't blame you. Yeah, that's a good call. Especially the cat part. You can't go wrong with grabbing a cat. You want to see the city I went to? Yeah, we can go to the city. Um, it's, yeah, it was very interesting to actually pop into civilization, especially because, like, I dandied up into really awesome new clothes because you can customize your clothes and buy shit. And so I'm like, oh, yeah, I look awesome. And I'm looking great in these, like, middle of buttfuck nowhere um, Rocky Mountain knockoffs. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. I'm out in the wilderness. And then I go to the city and I stick out like a sore thumb, like nothing fucking else. It's so funny because the city's sort of like New Orleansy. And then here I am in my, you know, yeehaw gear <laughs> with a horse, just being like, huh? <laughs> but yeah, we can go to the city. This shocking. It's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. Good morning, Arthur. Molly. Oh, out there. 
in Dutch at it again. You think this is the way to a man's affection? I don't think I've ever seen them happy with each other except for one night when they were dancing with each other. Oh, oh here's my new awesome clothes. Look how sexy I am. Another great way to a man's affection. So sexy. Gladly. Okay, so this is the new camp. We had to flee from the old camp because we were being idiots too much in the old location. So we've gone to, like, the south. Whereas the um, prior part of the game was in, like, the west. And I was really comfortable with it because it looked a lot like my home. We're now in, like, sort of a south knockoff. Hey! Thanks for joining me! Hi! I found you, Lily. Okay, so you want me to... Yeah, I'm a sheriff now! Do I need to explain why the fuck I'm a sheriff? See, look, it actually says deputy sheriff on that stupid patch. It's so funny because um, Arthur himself hates that he is a sheriff. What happened is... Um, so Arthur was wandering about um, doing um, a um, crime mission with Dutch, who is our leader. And um, who was the third person? I went with somebody else. Um, anyway, we ended up running into these law people. We ended up doing them a favor because they were staring at us. And the law people were like, oh, you're so awesome. And so Dutch thought it would be a good idea to buddy up with these dudes so that we could hide better under plain sight. So while all of my other gang members are like, you know, doing crime and stuff, um, I have to pretend to be a sheriff. Oh, thanks for your ass. By the way, this is the preacher. We get to see the preacher's ass. He's a complete drunk. Come on. No, stay. Stay put. I want to see your ass. No, let me see your butt. There it is. Butt. <laughs> oh, there's actually the crack. You can see the crack. Yes. Reference Swanson's a mess. Um, anyway. Okay, so, um, Silas says, oh, so Dutch got you deputized as corrupt cops. Yep, more or less. Um, the cops are corrupt, too, because we went on our first mission, and, um, we were supposed to, you know, stop these moonshiners. Well, after we shot all these moonshiners, we just took their moonshine for ourselves. <laughs> Which was great. Um, and Dutch was very happy with this because now he got a bunch of moonshine to sell. Um, oh, my horse is over there for once. Um, so yeah, basically we're schmoozing up. And Arthur, because he was there, ended up getting to be the um, poor person representing our good nature. And Arthur absolutely hates it. And what's funny is if he walks around the camp, sometimes the camp mates will like be mocking him about the badge because of course they're all criminals and they're like ha 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 you're a sheriff and Arthur's like shut up so yeah I do law while they do crime or sometimes I do both at the same time like I sent Silas a photo of um me grave digging with somebody actually that guy grave dug I just stood at the front of the church and knocked people out if they tried to walk into the church yard I don't know if that's any better <laughs> This is my new horse. I stole her from a guy who traveled all the way from Mexico just so that he could see America. But he had a pretty horse and I was having a bad day. Her name, I named her, is Josie. And I love Josie. She's not as good statistics wise as my last horse, Dash, but I like Josie better. I have become attached to Josie. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if Arthur had um, arrested our own friends, I'd be so bad. I should show you the stupid um, thing that we got into um, yesterday. But Silas is voting that we go to the, t the city that I saw cause of the civilization. So let's go to the civilization, just for fun. <laughs> so, um... First, we're going to have to go by the town roads, which is where I'm sheriffing in. And because Rhodes has a banjo picker, we're going to have to stop by the banjo picker. I'm sorry, that's just the rules. If someone's strumming on the old banjo, I am going to be there and be for it. See, look at the top. You cannot use what road. Yep, see? It's telling me that I have to behave. And let me tell you, it's annoying. Because every single time I see some stupid fucker traveling a back road with a very expensive wagon that I want to steal, I'm just like, but I can't steal the wagon because I'm a sheriff. It's so annoying. Yes, banjo is very required. So here's Rhodes. 
And they're definitely playing into Southern stereotypes. Well, not stereotypes, but Southern concepts with this town. And the banjo dude's gonna be on our right. And he plays like three or four different songs. He's a little quiet, but he's playing Battle Hymn to the Republic right now. In a claw hammer style. So one thing that I thought was interesting about this is, um, I don't know how close you can see the banjo, but, um, so, um, the animation is pretty good except for, um, sort of the left hand on one minor thing. So, um, the, inch the, where the left hand is on the neck is way too high for the notes that he's playing. But they're making it look more interesting by sliding up and down. So that's really a minor thing. Everything else is perfectly fine. If you notice, this banjo is a four-string banjo, or called a tenor banjo. But it also has the pot behind it. Um, nowadays, when we talk about claw hammer style banjo, we tend to have a five-string banjo with an open back. So that big giant metal disc that is on there is off for an open back. Um, and today, it's only um, resonator the, the um, big heavy metal clunk resonator thing is only there for like the banjo style I play. Um, but what's fascinating about this is that even though this wouldn't be accurate for today's world, I don't know if I explained that very well, but because um, today usually we have open backs with five strings to play claw hammer. Um, that's an that is not an open back in its four strings. But here's the thing is pre-war, which this game is, you know, pre-World War II, um, it was more common to have exactly what we're seeing right here. So this is historically accurate as far as I know for banjos. The one thing that I'm slightly trying to think about is whether or not there would have been frets at this point in the turn of the century. I think so, but um, fretless banjos would have been more common at that time. Basically, um, long story short, they did their research to know to design a four string banjo instead of a five, and to put a resonator on the back for a claw hammer style would be okay, or other types of styles. It's not exactly claw hammer, there's some two finger stuff going on and other styles going on here. But um, that's. Yeah, that's all pre-war stuff. Um, yeah, and I love it. I love that they're accurate and that they didn't go to the stereotype three-string banjo stuff, which is only past the 1940s that you hear it, but everyone usually tosses in anyway. So yeah, I hope that info dump made sense. Oh, 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 I need to show you something else really awesome about this game. Um, while we go around the horse shit, and I don't know if you can see the, um, flies in the horse shit. Watch this. Hey boy. Hey boy. Okay, dog, get out of the poop before I show you this. Um, doggy, doggy. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. They have a very important feature in this game. Hey, come on, come back here. I'm trying to show you something, you little doggo. Run after the dog. Um, this is such a productive stream, I know. Um, dog, come here. Come on. This will be worth the wait, I promise you. Here we go. Watch. Watch this! You okay, can pet boy? the dogs! Okay, yes, yeah, Silas says, for a guy just randomly jamming on his porch, this is a fuck ton of really delightful attention to detail. It's so good! And I could really praise the entire Red Dead Redemption soundtrack, because even though it's very atmospheric, right um, it's well, that's just fine, fucking live instruments, and it's so nice.
that's picking out the melody a bit more. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's fun. It's cool. So yeah, I hope that that was very probably poorly worded because I was so excited about the banjo that I didn't explain things cleanly and just jabbered my mouth off. But it, it was so... I was so happy about this. Okay, so that's the town of Rhodes where I'm doing shit. Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? <sighs> I should prob I'm slightly curious. I'm gonna see what this poor frustrated dude is Morning. going on about. Uh, listen, have you seen I I'm looking for my friend Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. The English bloke. There's a cat Lovely in the background. Fella. He went missing and uh now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh, that's too bad. Gavin! <laughs> okay, one more, there's one more exciting thing. You don't see these guys as often, but look, there are cats. Hey, kitty. And it meowed at me. Hi there, kitty. I love that I can be a big macho guy and go, hi there, kitty. You can't pet the kitties, but you can at least observe and um, revel in the catness. So, you're a cute kitty. Yeah, you're a very cute kitty. Right, we were doing things on this stream. So Lily's saying, I think it's interesting contrasting Red Dead Redemption 2 to Breath of the Wild, given that we're playing them at the same time. I have been relishing your adventures. Um, because even though I don't play Breath of the Wild, of course, I've seen um, Fury stream it before. And I just, it's so much fun to see your enthusiasm and excitement and just talk about what you're going on. It is fun to see what we're both doing, especially since we're both playing um, open world adventure games of Adventuresome Doom. Okay, so yeah. that's the town of Rhodes. Now we're gonna go to New D... New... It starts with a D. New Devon? Is that it? I know! I wanted to pet the cat too. They let us pet the dogs. Why can't I pet the cat? At least Arthur is nice towards the kitties. What do you please, want? Friend. You gotta help me out here. Oh my gosh, this Come is the on, third please. time. I'm about done here. This I'll is the shackles off third soon. time gonna. I've saved this guy. Please. And Arthur's so pissed at this, this guy. This is crazy. Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. But this guy gives me tips on places to rob, so Everyone I do it. Everyone deserves a second chance. Come on. Please. <laughs> So Come stupid. On now. There you go. Oh. oh, thank God. Oh, well, I waited to hear that noise for so long. Yeah, I bet. I, I wish I could give you some money or, well, you know, I might have something of interest. You know, Ansberg? Well, some la di da rich folks bought up a little cabin up north of there. Very remote. You get me? You sure I'm the right person for this sort of information? I ain't saying nothing. Do with it what you will. Great. Yeah, so you get robbery tips from this guy every time you save him. But that's the third time I've saved the same person, and you can tell Arthur's so pissed at it. Um, I should clean that gun because it's in poor condition. But I'll do that um, after we go through town. And it's big enough that basically any road is going to take me there at this point. We're going to have to go near that swamp that, like, you know, that I complained about that really horrible adventure. We're going to be going near that swamp. <laughs> but, you know, that's the price to pay for going to civilization. New Dungtown. It really is, though. I really appreciate that the game thinks about the dung. <laughs> I don't know if that's a, you know, wonderful thing or not, but yeah. I found turtles here last time. It was pretty exciting. Oh, here we are. St. Dennis! Here we are in St. Dennis. You can feed the, th the dogs in three houses too? Nice. Oh, the swamp. Fuck that swamp. Fuck that swamp. 
all fuckingness. But oh well. I like the plumes of the industrial smokiness. Oh, okay. On Chica. Thank you, Josie. I know you're so trained that I'm, you know, that you're expecting me to steal from these people. I am not going to steal this time. And you can see all these boats. Oh, I'm about to run into people. <laughs> like, look at the boats, and I'm running into like an entire crowd of humans. So you got the boats over here, which is pretty spiffy. And then you've got all these trains. And then ass food cannery. I know it says fast, but I'm going to say ass. And yes, electricity. There's electricity, which is another really nice touch that they've added to this game. Is they captured also just the whole grunginess of a city. Just how ew it is. Some, some districts are nice, some districts are gross. Yesterday I was hired by a saloon dude to shoot out all the rats in his place, so you can imagine how nice that was. Do I hear a trumpet? Is there a trumpet player? Where's the trumpet player? <gasps> trumpet! I wish I could tip you. Yes, we're stopping by all the instruments. Get used to it. There's a dude just sitting there listening. Oh, that's exciting. I love the touch that the, um, this place, it's um, a brass instrument. Try not to run into people. I love that people are just lingering and listening to the busker. That's so awesome. Okay, look at this place. There are two locations that you can go to, like a theater entertainment thing in here. And so here's one of them. Oh, dude! Dude, Lily, that would be so cool! Magic Fontana Theater, Magic Lantern Show, full color, a mechanical marvel. And there's like all these cool stores and stuff, and the trimmed shrubberies! Yee! And there's some cool little um, side streets that have gardens and shit. So here's sort of like the pretty part of town. And then we can start going to the ugly part of town. Oh, yes. Um, yes, I know who that is, actually. I've seen a stream with Fury where I saw the accordion dude. That made me very happy. Books! See, now we're getting to the ugly part of town. Which is more my style. Oh, dude, that would be interesting for Dragon Age, sort of in this sort of style. And in this neighborhood, eat these, um, in this, blah, 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 restart. In this city, I have heard um, Chinese? Probably Mandarin, I don't know. Actually, I'm not 100% sure it was Chinese. I just briefly caught it. Um, French and Spanish. And elsewhere in the game, I've run into German people. Oh, so I'm pretty happy that they do this stuff. So you can wander about. I haven't been to this part before, actually. Are these, like, markets? I'm gonna have to check this out. I haven't been here before. Nope, I'm not. I'm leaving my horse right there for you to just hate at me. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, there. Groceries, provisions. Yeah, there's just... Yeah, I know, right? Just all these little details. I love it so much. So, okay, so um, Lily's saying you can be traveling through the wilderness and then suddenly hear an accordion. Yes! Yes! It's so good. Yesterday, um... One of my, um... Gang members on, was playing uh, the concertina, and um, 
around the fire, and so I just sat and I listened to him playing the concert Tina, and I could even- my dialogue option was being to, like, compliment him. It was just so cool. I could probably fish here. Yeah, just look at all these details! This is cool. Oops, I'm almost gonna run into you. I'm not familiar with, um, uh, that, Lily. What is it? Or, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so I know it's gotta be, like, some, you know, Zelda thing, but I don't know much more beyond that. Hello? I'm trying to find some of the streets that I was in. Jade Dragon Restaurant. Peking Restaurant. Oh, that's a nice little touch. Oh, look at that. How do you do? Howdy. If only I could go into all these locations. I recognize exactly one. No, two. Three, uh, four. Okay. I can't read anything, but I can recognize a few of those. A Zelda film, but it's a Western? Oh my gosh, that is the best thing in my life. I love that. Oh, that's so cool. Just look at all the little nooks and crannies you can hop into when you're exploring around here. Like, there's no reason for them to have made this, but they did. Because there's like, no I guess I could try to steal pe from people in here. But it's just like they gave all these extra little details in these nooks and crannies and stuff that they didn't need to. <gasps> There's signs in Chinese too. Dean. I recognize the word Jean. Well, that's the Japanese hey, word. Um, ignore that. Oops. Sorry. Hey, yeah. Too late. I should try to ride my horse into a store sometime. See what happens. Um. Just all these tiny little details and all the shit that they have. Okay, so if I go like that, I can go to the trapper where I was. Oh, I still have a marker there. I'm stupid. I can show you some of the areas I was in the previous night. Howdy, partner. Yeah. Just, yeah, this is the city. I think this is the road I have to be on. Can you leave me alone, please? I just love how, like, grungy some of these street corners are. Hello there. Okay, it'll be fun going to this little corner in the daytime because I've only been in this area during the night. So, here's a little marketplace that I've run into. See? See? More languages. Howdy, friend. Wonder if they have Japanese in here. That'd be cool. Stay out of my way. Hello. Yeah! Exactly. Um I heard they got two Also, given this type of scope that these games have, you know, you're not gonna be as big, big, big as some cities are. But um this definitely gives a nice scope of feels big, regardless. Not so good. But even else? then, humanity Watch and how it. recently it's been since some That's areas have had large populations is sort of fascinating. Right, let's see. Do I have anything to sell? Not really. Okay. That's okay. But yeah, look at this. Hello. Hey, elders. How do you do? They all out. They all and just all these little That's nooks and crannies, and it's like... And it's fun to listen oh, to God. the conversations in the awesome. background, too. They're usually pretty good. So it's like pots and pans and all sorts of shit. They just let anyone out, don't they? You do! I love Wandslinger. It's so cool. Did I just run into a pig? Yes, I did. I'm not going to kill a pig in the middle of the street. For some reason, I think that would be discouraged. Just all the clotheslines and stuff on the walls. and just, Yeah, it's pretty awesome. 
pigs. Of course, pigs in the middle of the city would have been a thing back in ye days. I keep on being worried that someone's going to try to steal Josie in this game, but that's never happened. Except for um, people pretending to be beggars on the sides of the road. Sometimes they're beggars, sometimes they're not. Um, every single time they try to steal Josie, I just shoot them in the head, and that solves that problem. I say with way too much cheeriness. So, up to the right is where the saloon is that I cleaned out the other time. Maybe it's open by now. Stay here, lady. And that was a really cool environmental design that they had right there. <gasps> okay, okay. No more history time. More musical history time. Because this is Maple Leaf Rag, Scott Joplin. The hands animated are pretty good. I can play Maple Leaf Rag. Um, so this was fun, because the first time I heard Maple Leaf Rag in the Valentine Saloon, I was like, oh my gosh, I love Maple Leaf Rag. But isn't that an anachronism? Because Joplin music, I thought, was like around 1900s, 1910s, especially. I thought it was 1910s. Then I looked up uh, Maple Leaf Rag, and it was like an early Joplin piece that was um, copyrighted September 1899. This game takes place in 1899. I don't think it's September, but I mean, Close enough? The funny thing about this one is like they actually have the hands moving in approximately the correct place and motion that you should be to play Maple Leaf Rag. Like, they actually paid attention to this. It's not right, but it's pretty, um, they paid way more attention than like, even like a Disney animation would, <laughs> frankly, based on where the hands are located and how they're moving. So yeah, there we go, another music thing. But I love this place because of um, like the lights and the, just the dinginess. I love ragtime so much, and I love playing ragtime piano. Like it's so much fun. Maple Leaf Rag tends to cramp my hand, starting with the B section let alone I'm usually dying by the time the C section comes around. But the first section, I can like nail it and I love that song. And I'm so tempted to just pull out my fucking keyboard right oh. now and start playing Maple Leaf because I love that song so much. Just look at all these details, like the hey. little women hey there, posters friend. on the wall, Listen, uh, the wallpaper, the photographs. You haven't been telling people about the, uh, that little situation you helped me out with, Abby. The rat just situation? Know what about? Hard enough maintaining my reputation in this part of town without rumors of uninvited guests. <laughs> you there should... was walking to the market when some street rats try and bushwhack me. I draw on them like lightning. They were gone. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah. What was fun about the rat thing is when I came in, it was like night and dark, and no one was in there. So it was just this really ominous room with like creepy um, electric lighting and then all these rats that I was just shooting and of course it was getting bloody because of the dead rats. It was so great. Isn't that just so great, Lily? Like, this is one of the reasons why I'm really loving this game, is um, the amount of love that they're putting into even the small things. Like, hey, get out of my way. you get out of mine, lady. Um, like, the fact that they're paying attention to these things, you know, the um, fact that, you know, we're talking about the turn of the century, of course the United States has a whole bunch of other languages coming around. Um, it's not just English, like every single fucking idiot forgets about. No, um, the 1950s was a period of low language diversity in the U.S. It was at a very bizarre low. Um, hey, <gasps> fiddler! I've been trying to find a fiddler. I've been trying to find a fiddler in this game. This is the first fiddler I found. Sorry, we are literally doing a tour of musicians right now. Uh, could you back off a bit, please? No, you're playing fiddle. I'm gonna stare at you. Look at her. More kudos given to the fact that it's not a perfect sounding fiddle. That's so accurate sounding. Um. Hello. I know a song similar to this. How are you holding up? I'm feeling. But fine. I don't know this particular one. I don't think. 
I love... Yeah, a lady fiddler! That's actually a really good point. That's more unusual to have lady fiddlers, especially in public like that, but, um... Bonjour. All the more happiness to it. Oh, that's so much fun. And again, we're paying attention to these things because that's a Scotch Irish fiddle tune. Pretty damn sure that's a Scotch Irish fiddle tune. Because I recognize it sounds like just on the vagueness of familiarity. I have caught several songs that were popular during this time, like Oh Susanna, um, Battle Hymn of the Republic, which I, I mean, I haven't checked dates on these things. Ca um, Caroline, my darling Caroline. Um, I haven't checked the dates on these things, but my memory serves that they were around this time. They were definitely around by the time the recording industry started for hillbilly music in the 1920s. So, I again think that they're probably being slightly accurate. This is one of the streets I was on. I'm curious. My book, book will dude. make you who you want to be. Rich. Oh, it says riches, not bitches. Rich is who you are, and rich is who you shall be. But you have to read the book. Okay. Mr. Simon's been serving can us I buy the book? Right Please tell me I can buy the book. Anymore. Hello, Mr. Yes, Lily, it is. Hello, friend. Do you want to be rich? I am, oh, actually. I'll take one. That'll be $50. <laughs> $50 for a book? And cheap at the price. You read this, and you'll want to give me a hundred more. Guys, should we buy it? For $50? <laughs> That's expensive even in 2022, let alone fucking $18.99, where it's going to be, like, asking for, like, $500. Oh, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Buy it. I'm going to buy it. It's such a terrible purchase, but I'm rich. Best investment you'll ever make, my no, friend. No, it's gonna be completely pointless. See, I'm rich. I can afford this. Okay, let's look at it, because you can actually read the books that they give you. Do you want to be happy, sir? Then you need to be rich. And the only way, the easiest way, the best way to get rich is so to read about it So it looks like this. This is the veritable... There are some absolutely success, hysterical books in here that they, um... The person you have always wanted to be. I've done. Boy. But then you can also do, like, a view like this where you can see it a bit better. Welcome to your passport to an earthly paradise. This tome that you hold is your passport. Liken it to one stamped when you disembark from a steamer ship in a foreign land to see exotic sights and smells. And the street urchin grabs listen, your rucksack and leaves you to me, friends. nothing. This book, this yes, it is a passport this to a land of opportunity that is just paradise. waiting for the ripe and rich mind of someone you like so yourself. You can be like me. A land a that not only flows with milk and honey, but also wine to what the lips of women, dry goods, rich silk, Decorative yes, modes and linens that have your very initials an embroidered. Oh yeah, gotta have my initialed underwear. Um, have you ever thought in the world that you would be dabbing your chin from delicious giblets made by servants? That you could pull a rope and a man in a fine suit brings you a cigar on a tray? Why, you could wipe your backside with fine linens displaying your own initials every night and a group of seamstresses would appear in your parlor to work needlepoint until they are bloody in the fingers to fashion another set in the following day. Listen, listen to me, friends, as it's happened to literally every person who has read this book. This precious tome. Philanthropy and the Gilded Age of Prosperity. How do you become a baron of... Like, okay. Like, look, I spent $50 on this. I am going to read this fucking book. We don't have to do it right now, but... Oh my gosh, this is so akin to the time period. We have to have our Bible references! <laughs> oh, this is so beautiful. Buy into my pyramid scheme, right? I love that. I bet the way that he gets rich is by selling these stupid books to fucking idiots. God wants you to be rich and rich of health. This is too accurate. America, oh my gosh. Ow. Yikes. Oh, they understand. The best ones, the I best care. books that I've read have but been be um, romance novels where the writers have had way too much fun and they'll do the things book. like, the they'll book. write do terrible lines like, he dreamed dreamily or just really bad adjective choices. It's just, in adverb choices, it's so fun. So this is a fancy hotel where I really look out of place. 
I am so out of place. I looked even more out of place before I got a haircut at the barber here. Because I had my hair, like, down to my shoulders, and I was getting pretty shaggy. So yeah, look at how fancy it is. It's all fancy. There's a harpsichord in here. <gasps> They're playing it! Or no, it's you're playing it as a piano. Technically, that should be either a harpsichord. Nah, fine. That's too bad. I'm planning on having a lot of fun. Piano. Yep. You're embarrassing yourselves. You're not even good drunks. You know, if you feel like talking. Okay. <gasps> it's a piano listener. card. Automatic player piano. So there's cigarette cards that you can collect, and you can sell them to a dude who is fanatical about it. Meeting that dude was hilarious, because that dude was like chain smoking cigarettes and so completely high. Um, but if you collect cigarettes in a certain set, you can sell it off to the dude. Look how pretty this place is. It's all fancy. It really is a Skyrim book report. Skyrim has some fun books. I've seen some of these. But anyway, yeah, so here's the fancy-ass hotel, where I look completely out of the usual patronage. And then it's this cool thing. You get a view of the city out here. Buy my book! Read my book! Do exactly what I say and you'll be rich! Rich, rich, I love rich. this book, dude. There's so many the weird people, too. They understand the funness of, um, open world you have to have, um, quirkiness to keep people invested. Um, which thing do you wish we still had from the old rest? The oh yeah, the Bradbles. Honestly, I wish we had more of the um, bar culture in good ways. Um, where you could just go and hop into a location and um, just hang out there and you know your friends and it's just sort of this location that your friends know if they want to find you they can hop there and you can hang out a spontaneous hangout zone that's the f basically it I'd like a public spontaneous hangout zone um, instead of like you know having to you know suffer so through so much shit to see a person or especially a group of people and that's one of the things that I like about locations like that is that it is there's clearly a something going on. Ooh, yikes. There's a murder. No, 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 no. Shit. Okay, um, I was gonna loot that guy, but um they're after me already. Fuck. Run! <laughs> Usually the game doesn't stop you if you're stopping someone else. But, um, fuck. Um, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> mistakes have been made. <laughs> no, but usually if you're stopping someone else's crime, even if you kill them, usually the game lets you pass. But apparently not this time. Even though that guy killed someone else and I shot him. Apparently this is not going to be allowed. Fuck. <laughs> Oops. Well, this is what happens when you make mistakes. Fuck, and these people are pursuing me pretty damn good. Yeah. Um... Man, you're not supposed to be on me this fast. I might have to shoot more people. Because they're on me. And my poor horse is getting tired. Not so fast. My bounty is gonna get higher, but I need to escape. And we're in the middle of the swamp that I hate. 
I'm not leading them to my camp. And thankfully, the game is very good about that. Although yesterday's adventure that I had so much fun with, um, one of the plot points was we can't lead them back to camp. I'm almost tempted to replay that adventure so that you can see the stupidity that it was. It's basically me and four friends um, doing a clusterfuck. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Josie. You're fine, done, girl. Good girl. You're good. You're fine. Yeah, that's my girl. Where even am I? In the process of running, where have I gone? Um. Okay. Cool. I am where I thought I am, which is surprising. <laughs> Fuck you! No! Shit, I need to get out of this, um, jurisdiction. <sighs> yeah, I'm stupid. So, um, I'll just have to pay off my bounty and I'll be fine. It's only fifteen dollars. Yeah. It's not a problem. Easy there, girl. I wonder if the post office is actually open and I can do it now. Poor Josie. Yeah, I know. She's grumpy, but I haven't like worn her out. She's a very good horse, and she has good endurance now that I've um worked her pretty thoroughly. All right, I'm gonna see if the post office is somehow magically open at midnight so that I can pay off my bounty right now for the um, shooting the person that totally didn't happen. Man, I was really hoping I was gonna get to loot some people for that. Oh well. It's always so exciting when you have an excuse to murder. Is this gonna let me? It is! Awesome. Oh my. Yeah, I know, I barged into there pretty good. Hey, hey, you reprobate! Stop it! The game's not gonna let me. Oh my gosh, am I still being chased? I'm still being chased! Come on. You're done for, bastard. Fuck! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Mother of balls! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. I have I clearly heard. made a really bad mistake. <laughs> well, at least Josie got a rest. If I was yeah. supposed to walk in caution. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so usually I'd be able to pay off my bounty, but since I'm still literally being chased, I can't. <laughs> Fine, we'll go elsewhere. <laughs> wow. Basically, the way the game works is if you're wanted, then in the little state that you're in, um, you have a bounty. And if you leave that location, you won't be chased. But as long as you're in that location, citizens might chase you or the law might chase you. Until you go to a post office and pay off the bounty, in which case you're fine. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. You all, you're gonna make me start singing. Lily, you're gonna make me start singing because White House Blues is about the shooting of President McKinley. Yep. And we were just talking music, and that is a prime bluegrass song. Silas, you're fucking right. You're fucking right. That's exactly it. Damn it. Wow. I wonder if I fucked up my sheriff thing. I guess we'll see. <laughs> the game usually is pretty good about sticking to plot points, so no matter what you do, you're not gonna be fucked over because it still cares about the plot points. So we're probably gonna be completely fine. Um, and it's just a momentarily uh, not allowing me these things. Oh my fucking hell, you're, damn it. 
everything's just coming together. Oh my gosh, that White House Blues probably was written in when McKinley was shot right away, wasn't it? I, Because I imagine that song would have been sung contemporarily, because the, the, there's a lot of details that go into that song. McKinley, he hollered, McKinley, he squalled, da 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 da, I can't find, but go, you're bound to die, you're bound to die. And that song yeah. was around before Bluegrass got its fingers on it. Technically, I should be camping. But we're just gonna get this problem solved. Um, there's like no really terrible effects to not sleeping in this game. Ooh, I could lock. I. I, I s okay, so people who camp like this are really easy to rob. So while we're already wanted, and usually this never, this usually goes without a hitch. I'm just gonna say this is pretty safe to do as long as no one sees you and no one will see you because they're out in the middle of nowhere. One time, okay, funny story though. See you how you rope people and see how they sit near a fire. <gasps> There's two of them, shit! <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill them. Um, Damn it. Come on, game. Clicked gun. Oops. So, funny story is, um, one time I roped those guys and I, like, I was specifically, um, hog-tying the person to not kill them. But I accidentally hog-tied the person into the fire, so I just got, I just burned the dude instead to death. <laughs> I felt terrible. I had gone through all this effort to not kill a person by hog tying them, and then I just like gave him an even worse death. <laughs> you know, that's a good call. And this game has a lot of tropes. I've heard that previous installments in this game um, are even more tropey. This game, it actually has some good, um, just flushing things out, so even though it falls into the Western stereotypes, it doesn't, like, get cringe trophy, if you know what I mean, right? Okay, there's an apple. Oh, there's a peach. Hog tied and roasted like a pig. Yeah. It's been so fun. Like, I'd totally forgotten, because I knew that, um... <gasps> moonshine! I have to get Charles Moonshine. This is perfect. I was thinking, how am I gonna get Moonshine for Charles? It's hard to find Moonshine. I could buy it, but I don't want to buy it. Okay, sure. I just stole myself some Moonshine for Charles. Um, so I knew that Red Dead Redemption was, um, you know, it wasn't made for PC, but of course it precedes this. Weird. Red Dead Redemption precedes Red Dead Redemption 2? Who would have thunk, right? Um, but I'd forgot about Red Dead Revolver. And I'd forgotten that I totally had not made the connection that that was before, that, that they're all related. And I felt so stupid. I was like, oh my fuck. So, yeah. Where's the bourbon? So what bourbon does is it um, allows you to see things clearer when you go into this mode, which is called the dead eye mode. And the dead eye mode allows you to track things, um, find things that are available for yourself, etc. So yeah. All right. Well, that was a that was fun. But see, since nobody was around. I did not get caught. And that's how you do crime successfully. Okay, Josie's dirty. Hey, Josie. Hey, hey, hey. Josie. Oi. Yep. Thank you for being non-helpful. Of course. Okay, my girl. Come on, girl. Cooperate. I say, of a horse. Of course, you know, in these games, the horses cooperate way more than real horses, but still. Josie! Come on. Honey. Josie. 
Nope, wrong button. Shit. Come on. She's scared of something. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you're supposed to calm your horse. And you're there we go. A brave girl. There you go. Are you better now? Are you better? They get scared at snakes really easily, which is very accurate. But there wasn't a snake around, so she was probably just unhappy at other okay, things. There's girl. also a game glitch where the horse starts prancing away from you when you're on a hill, which is why I hopped on her and tried to drive her a little bit away. Okay. Well, there we go. She is no longer grumpy at me. Barbie horse adventures. Barbie would be much improved if Barbie was shooting people. So that location is a very good poker station. But we're not stopping there because it doesn't have a post office. We're going back into the territory where my previous camp was. Barbie should absolutely shoot people. No, you guys are absolutely right. Barbie Horse Adventures should have shooting people. Like, come on, give me the full experience. I would say let's start coming up with the details of the AU, but I don't know Barbie universe that well. I really don't. Yeah. So this is the old stomping grounds. The um, old camp was just back that way. And you'll notice Valentine, which is the old place, the town that we were originally stealing from. Basically, a bunch of stupidity happened in Valentine, so we ended up shooting a whole lot of people in Valentine, so we ended up having to flee Valentine. You're fine. You're fine, girl. You would enjoy the game a lot more if it was Barbie. Well, when you play Redemption Online, you can make your own custom character. You could try to make her look like Barbie. I don't know how successful you would be, but you could try. Barbie's Arthur Stacy. Oh my gosh. Lenny! I love Lenny. Even without that scene, Lenny still would have been like, yes, he's cool. Oh, right. I drove right past the fucking station. Sadly, okay, well, not the fucking station. I guess that'd be the brothel, but you know, um, the post office. Okay. Let's get this taken care of. Let's see. So what's Ken's personality even in the Barbie verse? Like, I do not know this. The only thing I know about Ken is he's like the nice boyfriend who's hot. I don't know anything else about Ken. Except you count like Toy Story 3 stuff, but I do not. Howdy. Morning to you. Um, I think... Hmm, is Lenny my favorite side character? I like Lenny a lot. I like Hosea a lot. You've heard me ramble about Dutch in chat. Dutch, I really do I like said a lot. I want you to leave. I won't ask again. A lawman ought to know about this. Ah, uh, you take care. Oh my gosh. I can't. I fucked shit up. I can't pay off my bounty. I reckon I'd best fetch the law. Bye now. <sighs> Grumble. Well, whatever. Maybe I'll have to maybe I just have to wait longer. Okay. Anywhere can be a fucking station if you try hard enough. <laughs> I like how you think. Anyway, okay, so Ken's per personality, yeah, that's, okay, so that's what my perception of Ken's personality was. I'm glad to know I wasn't wrong. Man, I can't pay off my bounty. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. I will talk to Dutch and see what happens. Really? 
Why am I not allowed to pay it off? <sighs> this is going to make my life more difficult because the area that I shot in is where all of my quests are. Except for that one. I can do that quest. <sighs> well, while I'm out here... So that quest that I'm doing is... um. Mr. Strauss, the Austrian dude in our team, yep. is a money lender who intentionally money lends to people who can't pay it back but are desperate for a lender. So when it comes time to um, get their money back, I basically just beat them up and steal their money. And Arthur hates it. Arthur actually rage quit and didn't finish a mission once. Like the game created it that way. That was not me, that was the game. Because he just got so angry with who Strauss was picking on. Barbara Millicent Roberts. You know, that is less surprising than when I learned what Shaggy's real name was. Norville. Okay, where was the debt thing? I knew it was... Okay. So it's close to Strawberry. Cool. Strawberry is my favorite city. It's so cute. It reminds me of places near where I live. Barbie is the oldest of- How do you know this ba Barbie information? Are you like a Barbie expert or are you on a wiki right now? looking it up on TV tropes. See, I could have seen you just like spouting this off the top of your head too. I don't know why. You tend to be a resource, a fount of fascinating knowledge sometimes. So we're gonna have to go across a really long bridge, which is a train bridge, which um, there was an entire plot point where Reverend Swanson and I almost got run over by a train on this very bridge because Reverend Swanson is um, a drunkard and stupid. But, oh fuck, speaking of train, okay, um, there. Because usually I just run my horse across at full speed to hope that I don't get hit by a train. There. Train's coming right now. Thank you for looking this stuff up. I am learning stuff about Barbie I did not know exist. You know one of the weirdest ones to look up is VeggieTales Wiki. Because I watched VeggieTales as a kid, but apparently between like all the TV show stuff and the later episodes, there are like entire things about VeggieTales I did not know about that actually got canonized. Like, Larry's age and Larry's siblings? I'm like, wait, what? Larry has a family? Larry has a- Like, it was just so fucking bizarre. And it gave his, like, real name and just, like, you know, not the nickname Larry. I'm just like, why am I learning so many things off of the VeggieTales wiki? Choo-choo motherfucker is a lot better than flat, flat motherfucker. Yeah, I know, right? And so apparently Larry's siblings appeared in other episodes. Yeah, he's like one of four. I was so upset with this information. I don't know why I was so upset with this information. <gasps> is someone, is it the train being robbed? Is the train being robbed? I need to pull out my gun. Is the train being robbed? Or is it just stopped? I could rob the train. I could make it be robbed. But I'm already running from the law enough as it is. Oh, but I could steal this so easily. Yep. Oh, the train's just asking to be stolen from. 
You can steal from trains. Um, no, we're gonna be good for five seconds. Oh shit, I missed my turn to strawberry. Sorry. Horse. Um, yeah, because usually that's the road that I go to to straw. No, I'm. That train is like in the middle of a public location. I would have witnesses. And then my bounty would be like really high and I'd be running everywhere. We'll steal from another train. Of course, everyone's screaming steal from the train. <sighs> Why am I friends with you? Maybe the next train. Um, I forgot what Larry's full name was. It wasn't the standard long Larry. You're gonna have to look it up, because I do not remember. It made me very angry, though. It made me angry. I distinctly remember learning Larry's full name, and it made me angry. I don't know the strawberry area as well. Okay, I am on the right track. We're gonna go into strawberry proper, because it's really cute. And then, um... So Strawberry reminds me of mountain towns near where I live. Lawrence! Thank you! Yeah, isn't that just infuriating? Because it's such a cute name. It's like the name of like a cute... I, I'm not going to finish that sentence, actually. That's <laughs> just get me in trouble. <laughs> I was going to say like the cute skinny white boy that Tumblr simps after. But I also have simped after before is like that cute skinny hapless white boy type when I was like a teen. Anyway, look how cute this location is. Look how cute this is. I fear if I didn't think of Lawrence of Arabia. I wonder if they've spoofed that one. I mean, it's Veggie Tales. They have to spoof everything. So look at how cute this town is. It's Little Mountain Town. It's got- it's highly acclaimed. I know it's highly acclaimed. I haven't seen it, but I intend to because it's such a classic. Oh, there's another cat in this place. There goes the kitty. There goes the kitty very fast. Love you, kitty. So yeah, isn't this a cute town? You can do um, some fun games over that location called Fine Finger. Five Finger Filet. Oh, yes. There's another Lawrence. Why are you doing it? Silas Lawrence. Oh. Have to go near the harmonica player. Is Where is the harmonica player? Is it that porch? That's the harmonica player. Shoot, what is that tune? Oh, that's a nice harmonica song. I would just sit here and listen to it the entire stream, but I will not make this just a musical showcase. Okay, Silas, shut the fuck up. No, actually, shut the up your fuck. <laughs> I hate you, and I hate that you did that, and I hate that it worked. I hate you. I hate that it worked. You are absolutely a cruel and unusual punishment maker of infinite proportions. I I mean, share stuff. It is always fun to share the musics of the doom. Okay, so I am, to recap, getting money out of this guy. Because he has failed to pay our bets. And I'm probably going to beat him up. Or scare him in some way. I beat up a guy who didn't even speak English. It was great. That one was actually pretty sad. I wonder, it'd be so funny if like, sometime we come in and like, there's a dead dude. There's another person I beat up who was sick and dying. Um, and that's why he'd had the loan. And um, I beat him up in front of his son and his wife. <laughs> that's the one that um, Arthur rage quit on. Oh, there's Graves. 
Where is the dude I'm looking for? The game says the dude's around here. Dude! Where's the dude? I'd laugh so hard if the dude was already dead. The lavender is very pretty. But I'm trying to find a dude! Do you see a house anywhere? Is there a house up the road? It's probably a house. That looks like a dude. There's Winston Holmes. An open grave just for you! Win Holmes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. I'm very good at You're scaring people. You're with the German? Look, I, I got also it I'm for high. you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat? The pelt to more and cover what I owe. <sighs> Not If cougars. I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. No, please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Cougars kill me every single time I run into them. Move. I better not have to hunt down a cougar. I better just have to take the well, pills. Um, uh, need our horses? It's um, quite a trip. Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, I'm gonna steal your corn while I'm at it. I'm so angry that we're doing a puma thing that I'm gonna take your fucking food. I'm just gonna rage quit and take your food. This den's away, so, uh, mount up. There are pumas. Did That's I tell you good. about, like, right, one time on, I was boy, at college, and apparently, um... Okay, follow me. Drive. Apparently there was a puma right outside our dorm, and I didn't notice, here, and didn't know. Over this goddamn mountain. Um, they had a lockdown on my dorm room because there was a puma right outside of it, and I didn't know, so I just walked right outside where there was that fucking puma. I never saw the cat. But apparently I, like, would have walked right past the big kitty, so... Oops! Almost did that in real life. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. I'm smiling, um, I had it here, up the stream. Okay, what's Silas saying? Haddock, I hate how I wanted to play Stardew and have you in the background, but it's more interesting to actually watch the stream and roast you. <laughs> I mean, I guess both is possible, but I would love to do Stardew with you. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee the payment. Because I'm going to get that money out of you. I got to squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Cats do like eating yeah, fish. And I am fish. Now, okay? We're on to it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. Plot twist, it's a prostitute. It better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Remind me to talk about the circus adventure in this game. Far now. Speaking of what plot twists. Cats, oh, This one's fuck. rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you. Not the other way around. That may be, but we're gonna you die. You see this one? I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. 
In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors, not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. This is the Holmes. most interesting debt collection damn money. that I have had yet. Try. This is also the most extensive debt collection that I've had to do. <laughs> Usually it's just go in, beat him up, get out. I'm very nervous about this cat. Her den. We should leave the horses. We should leave, Ooh. period. I'm gonna clean this thing so it's up to maximum potential because every single time in this game that I've come across a puma, it has eaten me. Every time. Okay. This is technically not the right quote unquote hunting Get weapon, down. but this is my They'll favorite weapon. We come out. It tends to kill people in one shot much better than my other weapons. Alright. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. Gonna die. I'm gonna die. Gonna fucking die. It's over here. Here's the lantern. Death time, y'all. Fucking death time. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. I don't want to see the cat. Admiral Akmar Boris. Exactly. It's a trap. We're gonna die. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. I'm gonna hit the fucking cap by forward. myself. Yeah, yeah. Fucking fuck. Oh, we're so dead. This is a very big crevasse. It is more than a crack. It is very much. The sawed-off shotgun will do the trick. Yes, exactly why I have it. Oh, we're fucking dead. I do not like this. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's dying. He screamed. <laughs> He's gonna be dead. I'm gonna have to deal with the cat and a dead body. <laughs> oh, mother of balls. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, y'all. Oh, there he is. Oh. This is so good. She got him. Crap. Damn. Dead dead. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, pendulous idiot. Oh, we're so... <laughs> All the different cave um, locations is what makes this good. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> This is what I mean by how you die. Fuck. Where is she? Where is she? Mother of balls. Holy cow, I lived! But did you notice how like one attack kills almost my entire health? Oh my gosh. How dare you pun like that? Oh, this is so much fun though. All right damn fucking cat. Just a reminder that this game does um, realistic depictions of skinning, so if you don't want to see it, close your eyes now. I did get her. So one thing that I usually have against open world games Better be rare. is that it's difficult to connect in emotionally with characters, even when they're side characters for me, because I don't do adventures with them. Um... I tend to like um, video games where I can go on adventures with somebody so that I can bond with them. You know, something like the Mass Effects, right? Even if you have really quirky side characters in an open world game, I don't tend to like really... F I, it tends to still feel psychologically distant to me in the sense that the whole world just feels like, you know, it's at a distance to me compared to something like a game yeah, where I'm on an adventure with someone else. 
Red Dead, it allows me to have a gang. So I can have a little bit of that bonding experience. Um, which allows me to enjoy the side missions a bit more. Um, rather than just feel like I'm going from random side mission to random side mission with random person to random person. Of course, that's just entirely um, personal opinion. I know lots of other people really love... Um, really, really love their... Um, open worlds, be exactly because you can dig around. So sometimes you can bring these with you. Um, and get extra money out of it that way, but I guess not. Okay, so guys, you know what's hilarious? You know what's hilarious? There's only one location to sell these pelts. You want to know where it is? You want to know where it is? It's the town where I shot someone and had to run from. That's where you sell the pelts in this game. I'm so fucked. <laughs> I haven't been able to get into Breath of the Wild, but I see why people do get into it. I absolutely do. It's the first one where you don't have a sidekick talking to you all the time. For me, it's just if I'm entirely by my lonesome, I don't want that either. I like to be able to connect with folks. Really meaningful NPCs. Alright, the game's gonna take me back to camp. I should probably eat food because I'm pretty fucked right now. Um. um do I have good food? Where's my food? There. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. <coughs> I'm gonna try to buy my... Strawberry has a post office, right? I'm gonna try to debail myself one last time. It does have a post office. Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna try to debail yeah. me one more time before I try to sell things. That makes sense, Silas. Um, Minecraft's interesting because it's a creation exploration hybrid, right? And I know for me, um, when I do creation games, I want to be by my lonesome. I just want to be making things entirely on my own. So Minecraft's just a fascinating thing in what it's become. But that makes sense to me, and I can see why you like that. I can see why it feel like too crowded would be annoying to you. I feel like I would like Minecraft servers that have people so that I could oh, like a lot of people so that I could dick around. Oops. Hey, do you want to uh, die today? Please, please. Come on. No, stop this. We're too scared. What? Do you want something from me? Sorry for annoying you guys by running into you. Yeah. Why don't you take your problems? Elton? You like the exploring more than the creating. That makes sense. As you and I have talked about, it's a little too open-ended for me to be able to um, get into it. So that's why I would do it for the socialization aspect. Is if I did Minecraft, I would want to do it for the creation plus hanging out with friends. So I create like a town with people and then I get to be in a town and be a dick to people. Oh, heck. I almost didn't recognize you. Been some time, ain't it? Pay bounty! Finally! Finally! I'll just take care of that record for you. Oh, directly. good. Oh, my ass just got saved. Thanks for your assistance. It could also be that because I went to Valentine, where I got chased out, Valentine just didn't want to help me. I don't know. I don't know how the game's mechanics all work there. You always leave the house looking like that. Yeah, Lily, when you're talking about Breath of the Wild was still having a story to work on, I think that's why I've been able to get into Red Dead, is there's still a story um, that I can connect to and have a goal toward. 
Even though at the moment we're all just dicking around. Well, I, I guess I am doing one plot. Um, oh, the game will let me sell it to the busher? Okay. No game. I hate when the horses do that. Um... I can do stuff, but there's a goal line, there's a plot point and stuff, and I I need a little bit of that direction. And that's exactly why I wouldn't be able to do Minecraft or Animal Crossing. It's fascinating how everyone has those different playing styles and whatnot. And it's fascinating to see how different games exist like this, that we can all get that different experience as we would desire. What's okay. it to be? So I can sell. Oh, I need to fucking grab my fucking pelt. Thanks, partner. Hello, sir. Never let it be said they're afraid of work around these parts. Gotta make it while I have okay, it. Okay, then, girl. You've got research correction and crafting fun. Pretty spiffy. This game, you can collect a lot of different things. And I've been doing some of the collectings, not all of them. Alright, sell. Let's see how much this ends up being worth. $38. Okay, that's fine. So we got Winston's debt money, and now I can actually go back to camp without being chased by people. So this ended up being a worthy diversion. Silas, that's a really interesting point, too. Game, what are you doing? Yeah, the, the managing to um, put blending playstyles is really interesting. $38 cougar pelt is pretty good. It almost reimburses the scam book. Yeah, except I'm giving this money directly to Strauss. Here's a dude. Listen to the banjo. Stop all I beg you. Okay. Oh, I'm in bad sorts here. I took a little jolt and I'm managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. And you can either be mean or not. I will I like being nice. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Well, after you... What possessed me to come out here? I'll never know. <laughs> Dude, this way. We are not that far from strawberries. What are you so doing out go. here anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat. I, no, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Resort town. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all. It's cute. I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> it is. Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame jack and I'll show you Broadway. Yeah, you're out the wrong location, dude. Yeah, see, Strawberry reminds me of that um, mountain town I was talking about in the conventicle the other day and him talking about um, it being you know small. You have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bespoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. I I am a cowboy. I'm I'm awesome that way. Oh, are we close to town? Yes. There you are, dude. Can you find your way back? Sir, you've rescued me from the depth! Stupid you fucking yank. You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. Hmm. Alright. I'll keep that in mind. 
So, um, speaking of the Southern influence stuff, um, they actually talk about Confederates and stuff when you go into, like, the Rhodes area that I was telling you has, like, lots of Southern stuff uh, going on. Jesus. It's interesting because these locations are fictional, but they reference a whole lot of, you know, actual American locations. Like, Dutch talks about Philadelphia or Pennsylvania or wherever he was from. I think it was that. I think I went down the wrong road. I did go down the wrong road. But I like that it's fictional so that, you know, nothing feels tied to a place and they can sort of do an amalgam of influences for each of the districts. Like you get sort of like the Louisiana, Al Alabama feel for some parts of where I'm going to. Right here feels, you know, like Rocky Mountain sorts of stuff. You know, they got lots of different things. Yeah, that dude would have been real. The, the train's still there. Damn it. You guys are gonna be like, rob it, rob it. Not now. I'm gonna get fucked over if I try to rob it right now. Not in such a. Because I have witnesses. That's the problem, is there's witnesses. And you have to steal elsewhere. I've actually never robbed a train without doing it as part of a mission. So if this would be a learning experience too. It'd actually be a pretty funny learning experience. Leave the poor train alone. The Sierra Nevada mountains too, but the pines over are out of place. Could be like I felt like they felt sort of South Dakota E Black Hillsy, just based on some features, but some other features are different. Some are definitely different. It's like an amalgam of places. It doesn't feel like one specific location I've been in. You need to find a different place to stand around. But yeah, it's nice. I am slightly tempted to rob this train. Probably gonna get so fucked over if I try. I don't know if Josie can keep up with the train. Can you run, girl? just because the guy on the back told me to fuck off. I like how you think. Okay. This is gonna completely go poorly. This is gonna go so poorly. Ready? Get set. Alright. Here we go. the robbing. It was like an apple. Not like that's a big important thing to steal. But let's see if there are other... Already? Oh boy. You're in a situation here. I ain't gonna 
<laughs> so that's what happens when you jump off. Okay, where's Josie? Oh my gosh, I'm so far from Josie. I'm gonna have to steal someone else's horse. <laughs> yep, this did not go well. I'm gonna die. Oh man, I'm gonna be fucked. Dead yet? <sighs> Fine. I have wanted to do a train robbery so bad in TFL. Okay, so that's what happens when you rob a train. <laughs> that was a good learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. And I only lost $50 for it. <laughs> oh, that's a bad yeah. bounty. <laughs> Never mind, I lost $130 for it. <laughs> Amazing. That's okay. I'm rich. I can deal with it. The trains that are good to rob are like the passenger trains where there's a whole lot of um, people and you can get money off of all of the scared riders. But I have only done that with my group of friendos. I could show you what the train robbing mission looks like probably I could probably replay it, because you know how Red Dead allows you to replay. So if you want to see a real train mission, or any other past mission, just give a holler. At the moment, I'm going to finally get back to camp, though. I feel like I am due to get back to camp. Oops. Oh, whatever. We're just going to run through the... Here. If you've noticed, I have like started to figure out locations and landscape pretty well on this game now. <laughs> I'm having fun doing the random ass adventures. It's fun just to be random and just see whatever the hell ends up popping up. It's pretty fun. Oh, right. I'm going back to camp to talk to Strauss. That's right. Random ass is so much fun. And I want to do just random shit with TFL and just do that sort of stuff. See what random idiocy the characters can get up to. Always love a good amount of idiocy. I say as I make lots of idiot characters. Strange concept, huh? You're fine, Josie. road is so shitty, so I'm going to use the railroad because it's much faster just to go through here. Yes, we can. That's exactly it. Um, I've had plans for what I want Levi to get up to once we do the prison break. I guess we'll see whether or not that happens since the prison break turned out exactly nothing like I was imagining it was going to. <laughs> but that's half the fun of roleplay is everything goes the way you don't expect it to. Did I just pass? I did not pass. Yeah, we're much better now. <laughs> Joseph's getting tired, but that's okay. There's a smokestack. I can steal people. There's 3,000 frickin' deer everywhere. I could, like, get myself a fucking deer. <laughs> Something's... <gasps> yeah. Excitement. 
there's some law people. This is allowed because they're, um... This is a gang. Are they? Oh shit. Fuck. Where's the last one? I could. Okay. Now what's up? So I honestly don't have a plan for Ren aside from survive prison for a second time and run a shop with Levy, but Rax has a Ooh. I like how you think. I like how you think. That would be fun stuff right there. So while I'm here, I might as well like loot things. What do I do with the prisoner, y'all? Do I save the prisoner? Your men are gone. You ain't all that scary locked up in that wagon. Oh! You think you're better than me? You're a killer! Why don't you stop squawking and save me shooting you, too? <laughs> I'll just leave him. Someone else can deal with them. Okay, girl. Oh my gosh, I have been streaming for that long. I did not even notice. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, I'll get back to Strauss, finish that, and then I guess call it a day. That's not useful for anything. Hey, partner. Howdy. Fine. Okay, we're almost to camp. Hey, I don't want to cuddle. Back up. What if I do want to cuddle? All right, here's the camp. Our second, uh, technically third camp that we've been into because we keep on running places. I think I started the. Yeah, I did show camp in the stream, I believe. Who's that? Hey, John. Arthur. I ain't even gonna ask where you've been. Okay. Or have I shown this camp? I don't even remember anymore. Yeah, um. I should probably go back to work. You're right. Um. You're absolutely right. There is something called being responsible and as much as this has this has helped my brain though this has gotten me um less bleh. so it has been successful in that and i hope y'all have started to feel less bleh too okay so first i'm gonna okay i'll talk to strauss and then i'll get some soup because it's four o'clock yeah okay Oh, we was beginning to worry a little, Mr. Morgan. You should worry uh, about me all the time. You know me, Miss Grimshaw? I'm a wonder. <laughs> I know, son. I'm just glad to have you back with us. For now. She's sort of like the taskmaster for the women who stay back in camp and do things. Um... There's Pearson, who's like the cook provisions dude. Where's Strauss? Lenny! I have a mission with Lenny that I need to do, but, um... Strauss is usually... 
ammunition. Home robbery, Sean. Home robbery, Javier. Strauss might not be in. Um, he's usually in though. I don't know why Strauss wouldn't be in here. Oh yeah, I'm glad that you've that's been good. It's been fun hanging out with you two. Oh, hey, Arthur. So, our camp found a dog last night. And we okay, boy? Dutch named the dog Cain because the dog is a wanderer and the dog's probably done bad things. <laughs> nice biblical reference right there. There's Sadie. Last time I went on a mission with her, she shot everybody. What's with the badge? You switch sides. See, people give me shit over the badge. Well, where is Strauss? I'm not seeing Strauss. There's Hosea, who's like my dad. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Sadie is hot. Oh, so you remember so what- Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Sorry, but I got distracted by Molly for a second. A on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Thank um, you, Arthur. So, Sadie, remember the first mission I ever did where we went to that one house and the house got broken into and there was that one woman we saved? That's Sadie. That's Sadie. So she's been a so she's been with us for a while and she's basically started like doing shit with us. Hey, Pearson. Oops. No harm done. Um, so yeah. And then you can play poker with these people. You hey, can do lots of different names. Why you come here and sit down? I know O'Driscoll. Bill is the one I who got I me into myself. idiocy last time. Alright, will you take it easy? I'm yeah, not seeing I'm Strauss. Lenny's over there. I'm not talking to Lenny so yet. I mean, Sadie the kid. That Charles. Oh, hey, Charles, Arthur. I have moonshine for you. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have. You hadn't talked me into it. Charles is a good dude. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Charles is nice. There's been several times that, um... Oh, give all debts. I'm supposed to put the debts here. That's right. That's why Strauss isn't around. It's because I'm supposed to put them here. Yeah, Sadie's that woman. So, yeah. That's exactly what happened. Basically, Sadie went onto this wrong, long rant with me, being like... Can I ask you a favor, if, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? I've already got yes. those. I can get Don't those to her. Mr. Pearson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Okay, so Sadie literally just ranted to me. She's like, you know... I did lots of the hunting with my husband. Um, you guys are stupid. Uh, you guys, you know, that one gang took everything from me and I'm stuck with you guys. I'm not going to let anyone take anything else from me. I'm going to fight, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so she's very spitfire and not ever going to be damsel, ever. She's going to go down shooting. That's exactly her. And she's fun for it. So um, my character's tired, so I get to... Stew, 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 stew. 
Stewie, Stewie, Stew, Stew. Talking about the game, caring about tiny little details. The stew looks good, and you eat the stew. Horrible. Oh, there's Strauss. Been collecting for you. Thank you. Sure. Well, I should get back to it. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. I don't like Strauss that much. And then you can choose places to sit and talk to people. We could talk to her. Maybe we could talk to Micah, who's a pain in the bloody ass. I hate him. So we're going to eat next to Micah exactly because I hate him. Oh, he's in one of the gaming modes, so I can't talk to him. Fine. Who do I talk to while I eat food? No one's around. Fine, I'll stand and talk. You all lame people. Just standing around and talking. <laughs> it's, I'm glad you've been able to join, Lily. Could I get Hello, a little gentlemen. space here, please? Hello. Hey. And you can sort of chug your stew, too. Chuggy, chuggy, chug, chug. Cool. So I guess I should probably call it quits. My brain wants to do poker. I really want to do poker, but I probably shouldn't do poker. I really probably shouldn't do poker. And if I talk to Lenny, that starts me on another mission, which would be a bad idea. So I probably should call it a stream because I usually like to limit my streams to two hours. Anything else, and I feel like you guys are being dragged along too long anyway. So I'm just going to save. And call it a stream. We can do poker next time. We can do all sorts of things next time. I didn't even get to stealing, like, wagons, although I did try to do that train, which was a terrible idea, <laughs> and I'm glad I did it. Yeah, so, there are always options to do. We can do the poker. I can go through the story. I have figured out how I could stream the story without me pausing while people talk for a while. All sorts of different things. But anyway, um... Oh, I just wanted to see if there's one last thing that ends up happening or not. Is Pearson gonna play? Darn. No, I was hoping I was getting some music. Nope. Okay. So with that, we will quit. Two hours is a pretty long stream. Yeah, two hours I think is a worthy cap. And you are absolutely right that we need to do the little thing called um, work. So you guys all have a good one. I'll still be in Discord. I'll be suffering through the work thing and then sleeping. And yeah, if Fury ends up streaming, I will probably just hop into the back of that too. You guys have a good one. Bye.